What up, Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're just jumping into a quick video on topic. I get a lot of questions on this. And is it, can you research BPC-157 TB-500 with GHKCU? BPC-157 is known as the Wolverine peptide, but it's actually the combination of BPC-157 and TB-500 that allow for much quicker wound healing. Now, when you introduce the GHKCU to it, this is gonna work even more synergistically, and it's gonna allow for that overall just revitalize and rejuvenation stack. BPC-157, not only is it beneficial for the inflammation throughout the whole body and wound healing, but it promotes skin, muscle, and bone health. It increases stem cell production and improves the GI tract. So very beneficial for the gut lining and overall gut health to strengthen so that way you don't have leaky gut anymore. TB-500 on its own increases blood vessel growth, wound healing, decreases inflammation, promotes extracellular matrix production, and also very beneficial for the hair follicle as far as strengthening and enlarging the hair follicle, allowing for thicker, fuller hair. Now, when you add BPC-157 and TB-500, combined benefits of these two peptides allows for faster healing and injury recovery, rapid muscle and tissue repair, boost immune system health, improves cardiovascular health, and it has even more anti-aging benefits when you combine the two together. We're gonna to be stacking that with GHKCU. And what are the benefits of GHKCU? It stimulates collagen production, improves hair growth, promotes wound healing, boosts immune system response, reduces inflammation, and is a major antioxidant and neutralizes free radicals. They work on a cellular level with inflammation, overall wound healing. You don't have to be fasted to do these peptides. It's not going to interfere with the insulin level receptors. It just, whenever you want during the day, whatever is most convenient for you while doing these peptides. I like to get all my peptides out of the way personally. I do them in the morning on a fasted stomach, and then I wait about an hour before I eat. I don't know if this helps, but just me mentally, I like to do everything on a fasted stomach. All right, so my research shows that these peptides do not require local or intramuscular injection for maximum benefits. Although some individuals have reported good results by injecting them into their shoulder when dealing with shoulder injury, their systemic effectiveness is related to their ability to rapidly target and treat injured or wounded tissue, which is facilitated by the increased blood flow and circulation. Best place, I would say stomach or glute. If you feel that shooting it intramuscularly is gonna be best for you, then please do so. You guys are able to research all these peptides. They're very synergistic and get remarkable benefits with them. Please leave any comments. Please leave any benefits. If you guys are already researching these peptides down below, I would love to know. This is Casey with Living Youthful. If my video has brought you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.